Hagen Oaks, the Sacramento McKenzie course. First hole, par five. Basically just a really long hole that once you get down this fairway, it goes a little to the left and there's a green there. This is where my drive was. Pretty much that's fine. Now I'm just hoping that I hook this and nope, I just looked up. So that's fine, you can do that type of stuff. Had a gap wedge in my hand, flew it, wrong yardage. For some reason I thought the wind was with me and it wasn't. And definitely a bummer to start out a par five with a bogey. Second hole. This was, this is almost a bayonet start. The way this was starting, you know, the way this round was going. Miss super right, probably the most right anyone can miss. Almost find a hazard on another hole. You guys don't even get to see this hole. Hit the, the best uh, hybrid I could hit and got it in front of this green. And chip to there. Do I make it? Of course not. So two over through two. This is a really hard par three, especially where the pin was located. I hit it right into this bunker. Caught it thin, coming out. So now I'm chipping back. It's just it's one of those days where I just wasn't on. And that's a double bogey. So this is probably about as bad of a start as I can have. I think the only course I started worse was Bayonet, but this is just me getting beat down. Uh, par five, finally hit a decent drive. Have this, I could go for it, but the way I'm playing, I'm like, I'm taking a five iron and just trying to stay left. Because there's that water hazard I almost hit into on the second hole. It's playing on this hole. Pitching wedge in. Pretty cool shot the way it looks. Hit it good. But didn't have enough ammo on it. But I did two putt from there which was really really hard. Now advice to anyone that plays this because I didn't find this out till I played it. This hole is really short. And you could actually hit an iron and I hit a two hybrid and hooked it into a hazard and that's the hole so you have to lay up to attack this hole and it kind of sucks because this is my third shot fly the hole by hole and now I got this scenic shot and I hit a really good flop shot here just flop it up And I put it to right there. Made bogey. Saved the hole. Par three. Kind of a generic hole. There's some undulation. There's a bunker. But it's mostly just a straightforward shot. Pulled it a little bit. But I missed the bunker. Which is totally awesome. And I got it up and down. This sums up, this hole right here sums up my round at Hagen Oaks. Miss hit a tree, drive about 80 yards, and now smoke a two hybrid off the deck, and now play to try to get up and down for par. Like that is my round. Like this is how Hagen Oaks played for me on this given day and I actually did get up and down but it doesn't feel good when you're playing this way because you're having to to survive rather than just play the game like my drive there there's these big trees that can totally get in your way if you take the wrong lines here and I took the wrong line And once again, I'm not on the green. And that was just 
crazy, so I don't know what that's going to come out looking like. Well, that works. And that was a two putt. A lot of these holes at Hagen Oaks, it makes me wonder, it's almost like TPC Harding Park, where Harding Park, until it got renovated, it didn't look as spectacular. And some of these holes, I wonder if it, it got a renovation on a, on a major scale what this course would look like because the bones of this course is great but it's it i wouldn't say it's missing something it's a world championship course it's just there's something that's not that's missing from it but it's very hard and i got that up and down so thank you for watching this video i really appreciate anyone that watches the videos anyone that hits the subscribe button likes shares and gives it to your friends and stuff it really means a lot. This is a passion project. This is something that I've always wanted other people to do, and I'm taking the initiative to try it. So any grassroots support or anyone sharing the videos or offering comments or ideas really means a lot, and I'll take those to heart.